Okay, um, this is a slightly different video to uh, what I would usually do in that it's not an upgrade really, it's more of an accessory video. Um, so this is the uh, laser sight for a Tokyo Marui Glock 17 um, airsoft pistol. Um, in fact I say airsoft pistol, it's uh, the replica is so accurate that the 20mm weaver rail um, just works with a regular laser sight so in fact it is a real pistol laser sight um, that I bought off eBay. It came in this clear plastic packaging so I was a little skeptical when it first arrived um, but it wasn't very expensive so I thought I'd give it a shot and uh, I was pretty pleased to be honest with you. Um, this is it here. They call it the cockroach shape um, I guess because it kind of looks like a cockroach. Um, and I'll just show you how you attach it to the gun and then we'll do a shooting test to see the accuracy and so on. Um, it comes with two little allen keys, uh, one slightly bigger than the other. The first one, the tiny one, is to adjust for um, windage and elevation. So the windage one is on the side, so uh, probably can't see it, the light is not very good. There you go, that little hole there. Um, you twist and the whole thing moves slightly side to side to adjust for wind and then there's one on the bottom uh, to adjust for elevation, so distance. Um, now, we just do a safety check on the gun, make sure it's not loaded. Yeah, okay. So, as I say, this is the uh, the 20mm rail up here. This screw here goes into the notch that's cut out of the pistol. Um, the actual, this side actually comes off completely but uh, for ease of getting it on during the video I just loosened it up a bit then the whole thing just sits on quite nicely there then you use the slightly larger key to uh, tighten it up it's nice and tight and so that's how it sits on the gun there it's real nice the uh, on off switch is this whole paddle here which is really nice, so that means when you're holding the gun like this you can just use your finger to turn on the laser and then uh, turns off on that side which is kind of nice. Uh, the whole thing is uh, full metal construction um, I'm not sure what exactly, aluminium or something like that uh, it takes two of the little button cell batteries um, as for adjusting for elevation and accuracy and so on. The um, question of accuracy it doesn't really apply in the case of a laser sight because a laser is 100% accurate. It, it points completely straight. So um, I'll try and demonstrate what I'm talking about. So say you've got the gun here. You've got the laser points straight out and the barrel also points straight out. So if you're this close to the target it's going to be that much off because the laser is here whereas the barrel is here. So that means at a slightly bigger distance the laser sight must be pointing slightly upwards to land on the right mo and on the same spot as where the sights are pointing. Um, so that means that if you go to a really big distance then it's going to actually overlap and it's going to go the other way so that the laser sight is pointing too high and the Sight, the iron sights will be pointing lower than where the dot goes. So uh, basically what, what it means is you have to adjust for elevation for a particular distance. So you have to choose the distance that you're going to be firing at, adjust to that, and then it's as accurate as the iron sight. Alright, that was a bit long-winded, so uh, let's go and shoot. Okay, this is a shooting test for the uh, laser sight. Now I got the three cans set up here. Um, in the interest of fairness because of wind and so on I decided to do the test indoors so I found the largest distance I could find in my house which is 25 feet. So I will be shooting from in here. Right about here. I'm gonna sit with the gun on my lap to uh, ensure there's no movement human error and so on. 
Um, unfortunately the camera can't see anywhere near that far so I'm going to leave the camera in the other room. Zoom in nice and tight. And the cans. Okay. Alright, well there you go, three for three, that was the first attempt as well in case you're thinking I did that a bunch of times to make sure I got it on camera. Um, yeah, so it's pretty nice, uh, as I say, um, exactly as accurate as you want it to be. I had it set up there for 25 feet, so it was calibrated perfectly for 25 feet. Um, you'll probably be able to see here actually, if you look down the sights, at this range it's miles off. It's much lower than it needs to be. Um, but that's exactly the point. The further away you get, the more and more accurate the laser becomes. Until, as I say, 25 feet. It's bang on. So, uh, there you go. Thanks a million. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.